What you're seeing on screen right now is the strongest loadout I have ever seen. I even titled the thumbnail and video that way because it is truly the strongest build I've ever seen. I have made so many videos on this subject dating back to when we were using it with the Dirge Song and Dragon Scorch. Yes, we were using a ninja to do tons of damage. If you're curious about the mechanics of these builds and why they are so efficient and insane, I'm going to link that first video down below and the series of videos will be in the description as well if you're interested to get in on it. But basically, this is what happens. Hero ability damage is factored heavily into the six perk of the black metal weapons meaning that 29 to 132 base damage that it says in the description can be amplified significantly by hero ability damage now one of the highest hero ability damage heroes in the game is flash ac he's not quite the highest but he's in the second highest tier of heroes he's important because his phase shift cooldown is insane you can spam phase shift a ton and when you use chaos agent you can reload instantly to trigger that boom on your next shot which will guaranteed crit because of first shot Rio and it'll do 75% more damage because of tactical assault sledgehammer. It's an amazing combination. In fact, that fifth perk isn't even necessary. I just use in and outlander to get more phase shifts. It's a great perk to use and it helps out a lot. And it does so much damage that a Walry had an idea. She's like, all right, you've been showing this with like a 144 or 130 blackout with maxed out perks. What if you went ahead and did that? with a power level 19 blackout because I called it the six perk as most perks have the six perk on the bottom, but it's more like one of the mythic weapons where the six perk quote unquote is actually the top perk. For those of you who haven't leveled up stuff in a while like I haven't, you might've forgotten that weapons actually need to be evolved a couple times before they can actually use that six perk at the bottom. However, because it is technically the first perk, uh, you have access to it with a one star blackout. So she put double crit damage on that. I think that's perfectly fine because we'll be critting no matter what. I just want to hop in game. We don't even have an element on this thing and just see how it does in the 160s you know i should have been recording that i was just failing to kill a, oh, <laughs> a crow um but then i dashed and well now the damage of this build is unlocked yeah i was shooting at the crow and it just would not die but now that you're uh, seeing me take advantage of the six perk on this thing you can see where the damage really comes for comes from in a build like this it is so much damage that i can do I could do all of this with a power level 19 and, and be completely fine. Let's see. He's got these enemies. We got these enemies out in the out of range here. Easy. Took them out like nothing. What the hell? Now, remember, this doesn't have an element, which won't matter in this crowd of physical targets. But against the uh, nature smasher that's right in front of me, there's uh, going to be quite a significant damage reduction. So check this out. We're going to be doing about... 9.6 9.8 million as opposed to the usual two to three or four million honestly though barely matters yeah melting as opposed to melting yeah <laughs> we're just melting a little bit slower than before it's different but not really holy crap is right nz this is not this is not the amount of damage a power level 19 weapon should be capable of Imagine Flash AC, just a nondescript random hero you could get from the Lunar Llamas, and then you take a Blackout AR, blue copy, you know, just got it from the Llamas, never thought to level it up, didn't think it'd matter, and now you're doing millions of damage. That, that is insane to me. Oh, look, a crowd of enemies. Let's just, you know, tap it once, tap it twice. Propanes are dead. Take these guys out and they're dead before they ever had a chance to respawn. Like, like it's like it's nothing. Now, something that's definitely worth noting that I hadn't done in my previous black metal videos is getting the energy boost because 20 energy doesn't seem like a lot, but it means that I can go from six dashes before I run out of available energy down or up to eight. Eight more dashes, two more before you run out is actually so much more than it seems. When I was using this in game, just on stream, hanging out, Twitch link down below, I was flabbergasted by how much more usability you got out of this uh, ability. Cause you know, six versus eight doesn't seem like that much, but when you're in the thick of it doing exactly what I'm doing now, having that extra bit of energy makes all the difference. All right, it's not the golden crow from earlier, but look at this. Look how much little damage it does. <laughs> I can't even kill a crow. But then you dash once and everything dies, assuming you don't fall off a cliff. All right, we're just gonna go straight for it, you guys. I'm just gonna load it up right here. There we go. Do a little, little, little editing and then gotta jump up on top. Now, I might have uh, flashed some thumbnails earlier. That crow's nest video, link to that down below. That introduced, holy crap. 
Now, by the way, I need to mention that damage numbers stack together visually. So this weapon, as you saw earlier versus single targets, is not literally doing six point whatever million damage to any one target. It's a group of enemies dying at once. But holy shit, it's doing so much. Holy crap. And there's the real difference. Now, with the normal build, you can kill one of these smashers in three shots easy. But... As you can imagine, I don't have an element, so I'm doing half damage. Now, the normal 130, 144 copy is going to do a few hundred thousand more damage just because of that level up. But it's not nearly... Look at that! Look at that damage! I'm basically doing the same amount. Like, that 144 Blackout AR that I use is functionally not that different. Oh, wow, with the guaranteed crit... Look at that on the right. It bugs out. It doesn't show the one of a million damage. It just says 027 comma. So that would do a guaranteed boom of a million damage, which I don't, I don't know if that's the six perk. It might be the six perk. I don't really know. But like, look at that damage. Now, if we dash guaranteed crit with Rio, 105,000 coming from a blue weapon is so much. But we also know that the uh, uncalculated damage of that six perk is really where that damage is going and you can you can see how much better this build is uh when you do a little crow's nest like this and that's why i made that whole video on that strategy not only is this my current favorite loadout and i love talking about it but this just gets me up out of the way uh, i know a lot of people complain about dying with this build they complain about how dangerous it is i've had teammates nice enough to not put ceiling traps so that i have full access to the map but if you can do what I'm doing here, just keep yourself nice up and out of the way. I'm going to need help on Elemental Smashers, you guys. Uh, I am. Yeah, thank you. I am just up and out of the way. I can dash as free as I want. And even in my previous video, I wasn't sure if the uh, if the six perk would kill you. I've since been informed that while I was recording that clip, I was on one HP, which is funny to me because you can go down to one HP and your six perk will not kill you. You'll literally stay at one HP and just indefinitely be able to dash around safely. Now, obviously, I've got anti-air traps all over and uh, I think love season is now over, which is freaking fantastic because previously we had love lobbers that were remaining even after their quest was gone epic just decided to keep them active even though they i'm pretty sure could have shut them off if they wanted to but we had to suffer through that all last season so as i'm recording this i am enjoying the fact that, that is no longer a thing now as much as i want to go after the smasher it's pretty important for me to get regular kills because that fall love ranger is very very important to give me energy to get this build active i don't think i went over that in the video earlier but fuel for the fallen is super important for energy generation because as you can imagine i'm going through tons and tons of energy there's that one hp again so you can see as i dash and then shoot i am currently lowering my health quote unquote but you will never actually kill yourself from this perk so if you're up and out of the way as that crow's nest is demonstrating you're actually very safe and this build okay normally would do more damage based on missing health that's kind of one of the benefits of having a higher level copy uh normally you do more more damage but in this case i'm not but of course the uh the health will be taken from me no matter what so i'm just kind of trying to stay alive and safe here oh what a beautiful shot oh oh my god <laughs> just a nice one tile wide thick river of enemies and that brings another point that has been completely obvious but i'm gonna i'm gonna mention it so it doesn't go ignored not only are we doing millions of damage but we're doing it in a 0.75 tile radius that means for a one and a half tile diameter just a nice big circle we are hitting everything in range for millions of total damage that is why i mean okay there are a number of reasons why this build is my current favorite but the fact that you can do tons of damage instantly accurately now this isn't just a launcher where i'm i'm shooting a slow rocket hoping it lands and does big damage i am specifically first shot accuracy pinpointing a target and doing all of that to a single target and it's doing group damage to a group of them with this crow's nest i'm nice and safe as mentioned with the lack of love lobbers i don't need many anti-air traps to keep me alive but are we actually going to get a mini boss that i can hurt is my curse over no it's nature boo okay you know what I've, i want this so bad i have wanted to show a mini boss with this loadout for so long that i'm pulling out the proper weapon i just need to see it i have tried to make so many of these videos where i could not get a good mini boss and i have to see how much we can do okay all right okay got to back up because dying is easy at this build 
Look at those chunks. It's hard to maintain the energy because everything's nature and taking away my health, and now I'm dead. So that's the glass cannon part of this build. I did record a video running this in MSK. If that video is live, link to that down below. If not, then stay tuned on the channel for more. But either way, uh, this is basically how that went. I was dying constantly, and staying alive was very difficult. But yeah, you can see, it, it's almost a, almost weird how you'd think a build this insanely strong would annihilate a mini boss. But every time I've had a good shot at it, I have had mini bosses that spawned that didn't have a terrible modifier. That's the curse I was talking about. We've had trap vulnerable in videos, smoke screen, ricochet, when I didn't realize it was ricochet. That was embarrassing. But I have since dealt with mini bosses that were killable off camera and even if you unload six charges worth of damage a nice clean 16 million damage that doesn't quite kill the mini boss and you always run out of energy because without normal enemies being killed at the same time as a mini boss you just run out of energy and can't refill it in any way and it's kind of impossible and that's where this build is a little limited it's it's rate limited you do not get energy or phase shift charges fast enough to do that amount of damage over and over and over and over and over and over and over the build feels or can feel like it's a three or four million dps build but sustaining that for long periods is difficult i, I don't believe it's impossible but it is difficult so yeah it's uh it's a tricky build it's a tricky build and realistically i'm happy enough with what i'm saying uh because you don't really need to do that kind of continuous damage. The only thing that's surviving enough. Okay. By the time you use all your face shifts and all of your energy and you are out of either pretty much anything other than a mini boss is dead. <laughs> you can see how, yes, my team is active and they're all high level players doing their own thing, but this is normal where we don't really need traps <laughs> when one or two of our teammates are running this build because if you just have open skies and a teammate that can hit their shots, uh, you pretty much handle everything. So it's uh, so fun. I love this build so much. It's probably just going to be a one part video for this one. If you guys want to see more, comment down below, subscribe, tell me what you want to see. I don't think we need to run this again to demonstrate the insanity of this build that a blue copy can output that much damage is insane. Um, I'll see you guys later. Uh, Twitch link down below. Uh, I've seen the next one as well. Uh, goodbye. I still don't have a proper outro. How have I not figured it out? And then.